So let's look at uh, how we all start out. Whether we have an XX chromosome, uh, two X chromosomes, or if we have an X and a Y, which you definitely know that those with Y chromosomes turn into those fascinating creatures that are male. So we all start out at, doesn't matter what your chromosomes say, at six weeks, I seem to be having some pen issues. At six weeks in utero, all of us look like this. Look at the little tail. Look at the cute little flippers. You're not going to believe this. I have to zoom in so that you can see this. Because not only do you have a tail and flippers, whether you were a boy or a girl. Look at this. You also have a cloaca. What? Who knew you had a cloaca? There are humans in my class who might have little humans that have cloacas right now. A cloaca? A cloaca means, cloaca means sewer. And it's a little bit disturbing that we had a cloaca at one time. Birds have a cloaca. And that means that it's a hole that everything goes through. Gametes go through it to make babies. Uh, poop goes through it to get out. PP goes through it, everything. Just if you want it to get out of your body, throw it into the cloaca and it'll get out. Do you have a cloaca now as a grown-up? Do you have a sewer? Hopefully not. Your, you have actually specialized holes. The ladies have three specialized holes. Think about that. We have a hole where babies come out. We have a hole where poop comes out. And we have a hole where pee comes out, where urine comes out. And the fellas have combined their baby making hole, because they don't actually push out any babies. Let's be clear about that. Their baby making hole and their pee pee hole are one in the same hole. So they only have two holes. They've got like two-thirds of a cloaca. But the ladies, we keep them all nicely separated. But that's not what we're talking about right now. We're talking about the fact that when you were six weeks in your mama's belly, you had a cloaca. That's that thing right there. Now this opening, all of us had it. All of us looked the same. But what I want you to notice, and my little pen with its little issues, this is a, an image from your textbook, and I recommend going and, and taking a closer look at it because check it out. You have two sets of ducts, duct as in tube, not duck as in quack. I'm drawing the pink duct here, and you'll notice that this pink duct like opens into or, or converges on this cloaca structure. You'll also notice that there's like a purple duct because, you know, everybody's got to have a purple duct too. I'm going to draw my purple duct on this side so that you can just see. This purple duct is tightly associated with something else, with this structure right here, which I'm going to label that for you as well. But Look at what else this, this, they come out in different places. Do you see how my purple duct actually combines with this other duct, which is I'm going to make it kind of orangish. Look at this thing. Here's another duct, right? And that empties in. And see how my purple duct combines with this orange duct and then enters into our cloaca? whereas the pink duck just goes straight there. Okay, so what's the point? Well, guess what this little structure is? I'm going to draw you a hint. If I can't draw it like that. We're playing Pictionary right now. What is this structure? Really? I can't see that at all. Try it over here. Ooh. Can you get it? Can you get it? It's a kidney. What does the kidney produce? Pee pee. And so you have a duct from your kidney. This purple duct combines with the duct coming from the kidney. 
talk to me. What duct are you going to expect sh to show up in your cloaca at six weeks along that might combine? Well, what duct is that going to be? What's get its name going to be? Yeah, that's probably your pre-ureter. We all have them, but now tell me, which, which duct, the purple or the pink, would you anticipate is going to develop if you're a fella? I kind of feel like I hear you guys saying, I don't even know what she's asking us. <laughs> is that the truth? Well, look. We know that the fellas have, well, first of all, I can't, I can't help it. I have to try it one more time. What do you think this thing is? That's a gonad. A gonad. What's a gonad? It makes sex cells. That means in the fellas, the gonads make sperm, and in the ladies, the gonads make eggs. So they make gametes so that we can make babies. This gonad is considered a bipotential gonad. It might turn into a sperm. I mean, it won't ever turn into a sperm. It might turn into a sperm factory, which is a testy, or it might turn into an egg factory, which is an ovary. We don't know. It depends on what happens after six weeks in utero. What I would like you to notice is that gonads produce sperm and eggs, and kidneys produce urine. I think it's clear that the purple, the purple tube is what our fellas are going to develop. If you have a Y chromosome, then your purple tube is going to develop, and your pink tube is actually going to disintegrate. If you have an X chromosome, two X chromosomes, then it's going to be exactly the opposite. The purple uh, duct is actually going to disintegrate, and the pink duct is going to uh, grow, beef up. Now, let's go down and take a look at, at those, you know, the outcomes. Let's look at the pink duct. Okay, can't help it. Let's back up, back up on out of here. There we have our pink duct. Look, purple duct is actually disintegrating. Pink duct is growing. What do you think this structure is? That's going to be a uterus. We're not talking about the ladies just yet, which I have to be careful because they're way more interesting. Just kidding. Check out if you are a Y chromosome possessor. Then your purple duct gets kind of big and bunchy, and your little friendly, uh, I can say this, pink duct begins to disintegrate. And I actually was thinking that this structure right here was my pre-uterus, but look at what my, this is my uterus right here. And it actually is like a bulby extension of the two ducts. What's this guy? That is the urethra, or the bladder. Um, and you can see that my bladder combines with my ducts and then all the duct that came from the sperm maker combines with the duct that exits the bladder. You know that duct. Its name is the urethra. And this is the adult form. This is what it looks like as, as an adult. The ladies have this duct that has specialized and, and makes contact with the gamete or the gonad, which with an X chromosome turns into an ovary, with a Y chromosome turns into a testy. But check it out. Do you see any difference between my gonads? <sighs> They're identical. And it's really true. They came from the exact same structures, the exact same baby piece turned into either a, a testy or an ovary, depending on whether or not there was an X or a Y chromosome there. How crazy is that? I love that. If your Y chromosome, you can actually have a Y chromosome, and if you're missing a particular gene on that Y chromosome, 
you will be phenotypically female. You will not be fertile, but you will not develop into male, you won't develop male parts. And in fact, you, um, you look completely female. You have a vagina, but it just doesn't go all the way up, and I think your uterus is not fully formed if you are lacking a particular protein that allows the um, activation of the Y chromosome. So by default, you develop into a female, phenotypically female. Not fertile if you don't have two X chromosomes, but phenotypically you look like a lady. Okay, next thing, we're going to look at the gross anatomy of the male human. So we're going to look at um, the parts and pieces that we have to know in a uh, big picture, and then we're going to go into, again, what's the whole point of this thing? Why do we have all these structures? Well, we really, the bottom line is producing gametes in our gonads, these guys right here. Let's make some babies.